Good morning, everybody. So day two of SEMA coming at you. We got a burnout in the morning show, and then I don't know if we'll be in the afternoon or not. But uh, first things first, we can get some new tires on the other wheels. So then we're ready for some more burnouts. So uh, yeah, it's been years since I ran a tire machine, but we're gonna figure it out. No problem. No problem. Easy. There it is. Shoo. First timer's over here. <laughs> well, the tire machine don't quite have enough uh, horsepower to get those tires mounted, or enough air, I guess, too small of a compressor, so we're not gonna mess with those right now. Breaking news. Bernie will probably be in the second show now. Uh, we'll be on standby for the first. They might throw us in there, but they actually want us in the second. Uh, some cars showed up, dropped my water, and some cars got fixed. Pretty crazy, the blue truck over there broke that motor yesterday and they put a new one in. That's a Gen 5 LT, put a new one in overnight. So pretty pretty rowdy, pretty badass of them dudes. So uh, otherwise, Bernie's, Bernie's ready to rip. And then we will throw down when it's our turn. What do you think? Throwing down. What do you think of yesterday? Oh, I think it's awesome. Yeah. So many cars. A lot of cars, people. It's fun. So many people, yeah. SEMA is definitely not as busy this year as a couple years ago, but it's actually kind of nice walking through the show. You get a get a check in with people, get to talk to people, you get some room in there to walk around and everything's pretty awesome. <laughs> Thank you. 
and then friggin' sent it till the tires blew, and then it destroyed the whole side of the car. It's pretty wild. Again for show number one today. We'll be in show number two, but uh, I definitely think everybody's sitting pretty hard today. That's for sure. It was pretty wild, Bill. This uh, DeLorean that they did all sorts of crazy stuff in it. Check this out. Oh, wow. I just thought it'd be cool to do a DeLorean. They're just different cars for sure, but it's all kind of wide-bodied out. And there's always cool cars here in the uh, Toyo booth for sure. One of the coolest things on this car is probably the rear tail lights too. They're all like an LED deal. It's like they poured it and put uh, put the LEDs in it. A little dual air to air. Yeah, that's what my wife said. With an LS on Haltech EFI standalone, pretty sick. These cars are pretty cool. I wouldn't mind building one of these one day. Like everything else. And we made it like a beer keg in the top there. So oh. now this is full time all wheel drive. Uh -huh. Nice. So the battery puts out the juice, the inverters handle all that, the battery actually controls it, and we just tied everything together so both motors work at the same time. That's sick. We just take the TPS signal from there and we route it to both of them. Oh, okay, yeah. So it's full, they both do the same thing. We actually program it to like tuning a car. So what, what's the programming then on it? Like what's the controller, I guess? So the, the controllers are actually in the inverter. The inverters do all the magic and the battery mm. is giving it. So the battery says, okay, I'm going to give it 30 crazy. volts, all the way to 400. And from there, the inverters take it and convert it over. The thing's got like a full Tesla battery in it, and then the motor and inverter in like the front and the back, so it's all in drive and stuff, so it's, it's pretty sick. Oh, really? We got a whole other motor back here, and then the whole battery is up here. So, that's quite the build here. That's a lot of work, so you see the whole Tesla controller up in there. Yeah, this thing. This looks pretty sick. You guys can see this thing on the Salvage to Savage YouTube channel. Those guys are awesome. We sat there talking a while about it. And it's, you ever gonna build something electric? And, I don't know. Maybe one day, I guess. And one more car I want to build at some point. That's a, actually when I was looking for the Mazda for Clyde. Uh, another vehicle was a Toyota Starlet that I always thought was really cool and I wouldn't mind building. So these little cars are super neat, little itty bitty guys, but. Yeah, well, Toyota Starlet was another one that was on the list when I was searching for uh, different vehicles. All right, so here we go. The show's about ready to start. We're, I think, sixth or seventh out. Bernie's ready to rev. Just need to throw the nitrous bottle in there real quick, and then we'll be ready to send it.
miles an hour, just let it sit there for a little bit. It'll be done to go. Like it always is, but then that's like a little bit smaller, so it was super fast, but it's cool because uh, I was trying to trying to make sure I could shoot it towards the containers again, which I think I might have been a little off on that one, but uh, that was cool. It's something different I haven't done before trying to work the outside of the pad a little bit more than this guy, like the style of like the Hoonigans, the California style that. stuff. It, really it was kind of cool, so yeah, it was kind of cool to like maybe pull a little RPM out of it and just kind of drive and control a little bit better. It was, it was sick. It worked out really well, so I'm, I'm real stoked with that one. Ooh, I think the crowd liked it. <laughs> a little different style, made it up for the crowd, did our thing. Be back tomorrow for another one for sure, maybe two, we'll see. It's badass though, this is a cool time, great, great opportunity out here. Shout out to the Hoonigan guys for putting this whole thing on, seam on all that, like, it's a cool car in there. All right, there we go, made dang sure we got the tire completely there. And then I held into it until I knew for a fact. This one left the building as well. So there we go, both tires today. Made sure we got it done. And uh, yeah, we'll be ready for another one tomorrow. Bernie, Bernie's just a machine, tire killing machine. Stuff, the, the drifting gets really really pretty awesome I mean, it's, it's all cool anyway but that, that four like that in that tight little area that's pretty wild that is it for day two of CMI I hope you enjoyed those burnouts uh, today was definitely top-notch everybody sent it super super hard super sick day uh, just an awesome show and I'm just super glad to be a part of it so we'll be back again tomorrow send it again so make sure you hit that subscribe button see you later